What's up guys, um, this is Mikey Galax and welcome to my quick review of the new Cyanogen mod, um, Jellybean build. So let's go right into it and take a look at the <coughs> version number here. So this is the first nightly build of the Jellybean Cyanogen mod and um, just installed it a day ago. And let's take a look at the possible customizations. So I quite like the stock launcher. It's a trebuchet launcher and you get some pretty standard um, customizations here. Grid size, home screens, default screens, um, scrolling wallpaper, page indicators, etc. Dock divider. So it was pretty standard. And also some pretty standard customizations on the drawer. It's probably not as full-fledged as Apex or Nova, but I quite like that um, it's fast and um, yeah. And on the lock screen, you can actually customize um, the. You can change the the stock applications. So typically on a lock screen, you'll have camera, Google Now, or unlock. And I can now change that by looking at slider shortcuts here. And you can even add new ones. So you can just go in there and select the application that you want. Um, it is limited as to which applications you can use, but it's nice to have that customization. Also, you can change the stock ones. So if you don't like camera, so swipe at the camera and then change it to a different um, app. Um, you can also display, choose to display weather on the lock screen um, or calendar events. And next we have themes. Right, so I only have one theme here, but um, you can download themes either from the market or from XDA, and then just hit apply and apply the themes. And now here, this is where uh, most of the customizations in Cyanogen Mod come into play. So the status bar is the bar right up top here, where you see the battery status, um, time, etc. So you can show clock in. AM or PM style, so normal or none. Excuse me. Um, for the battery status, you can either show just an icon. Um, I like to see the amount of battery I have remaining, so switch that to percentage. Um, signal style you can have text as you can see it tells you the number of decibels um, signal strength you're getting or you can hide it completely just leave that icon and down here you can show notification count a la iPhone style um, but the numbers I don't have any notifications yet but numbers are pretty tiny so I don't find that very useful um, Cyanogen mod comes with some nice wallpapers Pretty cool wallpapers you can set here. Um, and then you have the notification drawer, which is what you see right here. And you can toggle power widgets. Here are the power widgets up top. And I can turn them off so you don't see them anymore. I like having them on. And you can actually customize the widgets that you want by just um, checking them here so you can have some for media if you have a music playing uh, airplane mode bluetooth brightness gps pretty standard wi-fi not quite sure what this wi-fi ap is and you notice you have total brightness here which is this um Just turn off the GPS so you can see it. So it's right there. 
and you can set the levels of brightness you want by going down to brightness modes and I have auto and dim because that's usually the two that I switch between so if I click it I can go between dim and auto and you have more levels then you'll cycle through more possibilities and then network modes you know, if you're trying to save on data you can have that and then you have screen timeout um, there are two options 15 seconds a minute and five minutes or 30 seconds two minutes and five minutes so that's that toggle right here now the only problem with this is that you can't really you don't really know which one you're on because the gradations in see I have it's supposed to be three different timeout modes but the gradations don't really change on the second one so if you swipe up the shades really quick then you can see the notification telling you like so timeout set for 30 seconds but it disappears after a while so if you leave it on and swipe it up well I guess you could still see it there so I'm set to five minutes and then you can change the sound modes um, on there as well um, close drawer and change so I'll change it and then drawer will just draw up on itself All right so and you can also have customized haptic feedback so if I turn it on can feel it vibrate every time I change something on there and um, power menu is the menu that you get when you hold on to the power button so I have power off reboot profiles and airplane mode so let's take a look at this thing called profile you can turn that off too and you, know, you don't get profiles um, but what profiles is is you can scroll down here to profiles and it's kind of like if you've ever used a Nokia phone um, you've noticed you know you have profiles in silent mode etc but this is just profiles in steroids um, okay so let's just quit let's see so, uh, profiles and right so it's showing up now and you can customize um, profiles and you can even add your own new ones so say in sound mode or let's say in night mode I like to disable my mobile data so just check that disable Wi-Fi so I don't want to receive any messages and you can also customize how each application behaves and you can select these applications by going to the application groups here where you can add um, a new application group and um, have it customize so on the profiles go back here and change the email um, so you can turn off the notification emails Turn off the lights, um, the flashing lights, the notification light at the bottom. And let's just look at this application groups again. So I can add you know, applications to this particular group so that the same changes takes effect on this. Um, set of applications so you know what whatever application is in that group the same um, the same customizations will affect all of them so that's it for the settings available and it's really smooth really fast and really happy with it um, it's um, considerably faster than AOKP and the MIUI room, ROM so thanks for watching and um, I'll come back with a more in-depth review of this hopefully soon <laughs>